Hey, 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 what's going on? It is Ryan. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Where am I? Hey, hey. I'm at a super loft in the UK. Absolute super loft. That is right. You are here with me. I'm the man. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We are at Formula One Racing Essex UK. How did I get here? I took a plane. Went through customs. And yet I arrived. And you guys are here with me. We're going to go inside. We're going to give you a quick little sneak peek view on what's coming to Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. That's right. This auction for Formula One racing next week. You're going to see the loft tours. You're going to see all the goods. PV, are you with us? Here we are at Formula One. It's a long loft loaded with national superstar winners. Winners, 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 and more winners. Remember, where do you guys go to bid Feathers Elite? Pigeon Auctions, that's right. www.fipa.ca, fipa.uk. It's all there. Let's go in and say hi. You're going to see some super pigeons. Here's the man himself. 2020 Golden Deutsch winner, John Gladwin. How's it going, John? Hi, good round. How's everybody? Hey, I think they're going to do okay. These, there's, some, there's some super pigeons here, John. I mean, the more I look, the more I want. <laughs> what is the family that's brought you this success? The Friends Wild pigeons, all the Friends Wilds. Yeah. Since, since we've had them, our ratings moved to a completely different level, not just for us, but for our many customers as well. I mean, we, we added up the other week, and since 2017, bear in mind we bought these in 15, the first year of breeding was 2016, and since then there's been 62 first or seconds in nationals and combine racing from these family of pigeons in, in, the, in the UK. And people that don't understand, when you mean national, what's, what's the level of magnitude, the number of pigeons, what's it all about? The national is open to the whole of the country. So there's pigeons flying from Wales, into the um, Midlands, into Essex, all, all over the country. There's people, everybody enters, so you've got all the best fanciers in the country in them races. Uh, it's, the pigeons are going everywhere. They've been predominantly up until last year anyway when we couldn't get into France because of the EU issues. But before that, all the races are from France. They're coming across the channel. The pigeons are it's being spread about. The pigeons have got a break from that transporter, hold their line. They're being dragged potentially all around the country uh, and they've got to come straight home to win them nationals. So what you're saying, John, is these are very intelligent pigeons. Super intelligent, yeah. They don't mind a little bit of water. Nope. nope. Okay. And they can handle lots of birdage. Yes, yep. And they're consistently scoring. Yep. And, and these pigeons, you've had others, other families, but these are the ones that are doing it. These are the ones we got left. The rest have all gone over the last few years and everything's now around these Francois pigeons. Wow. And uh, what's left for them to do, really? What, what, what are you trying for? What, what's the big move next? The next big move is to, to win the uh, international. That's the one thing we've kind of got left on the, on the bucket list. Uh, Tip Top Tour, one of our pigeons, won the national in the UK, but they were let go with all the Belgians, Dutch Euro and uh, German pigeons. She was 56 international, 22,000 pigeons. That's the one goal left. We've won the nationals at Young Birds. We've won them at Old Birds in the sprint to middle distance. We've won them in the long distance out of the 500 plus miles. As you said earlier, the Golden Doif winner broke the record in the NFC, which has stood since the club's been formed, which is over 100 years. The NFC is the National Flying Club, the main national in the whole UK. Previous to 2020, the best that anybody had ever done was take the first four positions. Um, and my partner in Formula One, John Carlin, actually took the first eight. Uh, Wait, where is John? He's hiding outside. He's for the hiding minute. outside. <laughs> Come on, John. Where? So, so you, you, so in that national race, you set a record. And and people, if you're watching, listen to this record that Formula One racing set. Go ahead, yeah. give it to them. So John Carling took the first eight. The and he's your partner. Partner in Formula One, yeah. Uh, race completely separate, but we own all the stock herds and breeders together. 
Uh, he took the first eight positions. The best ever was the first four ever done in over 100 years. There's one record. There's one record. But in the same race, actually the first 14 pigeons in the results for four different uh, fanciers were all the other Francois breeding. So I was ninth and tenth in that same race. Uh, the guy who was 11th was racing one of our pigeons. John was then 12th. Uh, I, and then I was 13th and then another pigeon was 14th again with our blood for a different fancier again. So, so the first 14 pigeons were all originated from Formula 1 French Wales pigeons. So these pigeons, they're not just winning for you. So we're not going to say that you're, the, you're, you're not the magic man. These pigeons are winning for different people on a national level. And I had a question, and I'll get to the question. National level, how many birds roughly are they competing against? Uh, so that national race was three and a half thousand pigeons. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, that sort of uh, yeah, the average is three, four, five thousand pigeons sometimes. Uh, there's a pigeon, pigeon on the wall, Max. Uh, he won the national from Alicon to uh, 218 miles. He's a grandchild of D'Artagnan. Uh, and uh, I think there was the best part of 5,000 pigeons in that race that day when he won. Yeah, let, let's see the old guy up in there. He, al he always catches my eye. We got him on the camera so much today, he's going to eat. <laughs> Who is this guy? Don't leave him in there for so, a second. So he, he is D'Artagnan. So he's responsible for nine winners at national and combine levels. Nine. My favorite number is nine. He's a super. He's got eye sign, feather quality on these pigeons, ladies and gentlemen. The character of the pigeons, the feather quality of the pigeons is second to none. They're a very different feel of pigeon. The buoyancy on these pigeons, they hold no weight. They really, really don't. Uh, he's got a gorgeous eye. That hen is beautiful as well. Look at the quality. And he's, he's a nine-time winner? No, he's, he's responsible for nine times first at national and combine level. You, are you guys looking for pre-potent breeders? Sire, nine times different winners. Yep. Yep, and that's ranging from 200 miles to 500 miles. 200 to 500. He's he's called D'Artagnan, but his uh, three brothers were called the Three Musketeers. They raced for in Holland for France, and between them they won 75 first prizes sprint racing. Uh, and then say so he's the full brother, he's the breeder, and uh, he, he never raced, but in the breeding, say nine times first at national combine level, 200 to 500 miles. But he's, he's offspring also win very well at sprinting. You know, John, i got to ask you. A fellow's elite pigeon auctions, boy, we'd love something out of this guy. You're very lucky. You've got one. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a direct daughter out of him. Um, that's quite inbred. Uh, the, the dam's a younger pigeon that I actually bred uh, specifically to put back to him to keep this line strong for many years to come. Um, so he's very inbred on his breeding lines, and uh, hopefully he'll do very well. But uh, And this is your breeding loft, very nice loft, long. Yeah, long central corridor, sections either side. And you've got six boxes on, uh, on this side all the way through, and then on this side we have nine boxes. Each section has its own aviary, so the pigeons have full access to fresh air, baths, when they want them about twice a week on average they get a bath. Hey guys, you got to tune in for the loft tour with Formula One. You, you really have some interesting things that you do with the birds. Not over the top crazy, but simple, simple, simple. But the quality of these pigeons that you have mm -hmm. is mind-blowing. It really, really is. You feel the feather quality, that good muscle, soft feathers. I, I keep saying soft feathers. I, I can't. I've, it's been a while since I felt the silkiness. And and since you've taken them on, this family, anything that you've brought in to compare doesn't hold a candlestick to these. No, since uh, since we bought the whole lane in 2015, we're always trying a couple of new pigeons every year. Spent very big money on superstars from Belgium and Holland, direct children of the main pigeons. Um, none, none of them have made the grade. Everyone's uh, gone by the wayside uh, before they've, you know. And, and yes, guys, I can't get to all the questions today. We are uploading onto our YouTube channel, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, the Loft Tour with John Glauber of Formula One Racing. 
We've asked the questions, the motivation. You're going to see the feed. We're going to see what he puts in the water. We're going to figure out how does he motivate them. What does he do? Is it cocks? Is it hens? Is it young? Is it old? Do they only win as old birds? Do they only win as young birds? Do they do it all? This family of pigeons, from the start to the end, these pigeons do it. That's why we're here. John, I'm waiting for little John. Where did he go? I wanted him to show his national winner. Let's the, the, the hen. Let's go find him. Let's go find him. Where is he? He's he's talking, isn't he? John? <laughs> Where's he at? Where'd you go? He's hiding. <laughs> he's hiding. John's hiding, the partner. John? Uh, he must, I think he might have had a phone call. But Maybe he had a phone call. Well, that's okay. You have, you have the hen in there? Did you want to show her? Yeah, I can get... <laughs> and I'll just do a quick walk down. Formula One Racing, this is where we're at. You see, left, right, this is the breeding loft. This is where the magic happens. Friends, Walt, pigeons in the UK, the best of the best, and I'm just giving you a little looky, giving you what we call the little sneak peek. This is like, uh, you know, the appetizer, quality, 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 where am I, Essex, UK, Formula One, remember, please, go to our YouTube channel feathers elite pigeon auctions hit that subscribe link if you like what we are doing you'll see all of our loft tours hey you guys want to see how you build the nest i'm just going to come in here and be quiet i told you guys i would do lives always keep your drinkers off the floor Sorry, John, I had to go into one of your sections, my friend. You're fine. I managed to find John as well. We might as well find him. <laughs> He's here. He's here. Oh, there he is. He... John, <laughs> keep it down. You're talking too, too much. <laughs> hold on, John. So hold, just, you just let me just clip that right in there. Tell me about, tell me about this super, John. Uh, this is Queen of Conti is. She won first national, and the following week she won second national. And you flew this pigeon? Yeah. And what breed is this pigeon? It's Francois. Yeah, it's and the yeah, Apache of John now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't like doing a lot of talking, does that, John? Like she's uh, she's super hen. If she would have won second quicker all over the page, she would be a double national winner. Um, I think there's only ever been one, uh, maybe one. If, if any actual true national winners in the UK were open to the whole of the UK, I don't think there's actually been any, is there? Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so she, one second earlier across the page, she would be an absolute unique pigeon. But instead, she's got first national and second national beat by a loft mate. Um, she is a full sister also to Teresa's boy. Teresa's boy won first national. Uh, and they are back off the um, Amalcock and the Guernsey Princess. Um, the Amalcock is off Recomo 83, which again we have one in the sale uh, out of him. So it's, uh, it's true quality. And you know, I was going to ask if, if you can do me a favor and hold that camera just like that. You just keep me in there. Don't. Keep her down, John. <laughs> Guys, when you're in heaven, you get to handle heaven. And you know what? This hen is absolutely second to none. The muscle, you feel her vibrating in your hands right away. She's strong, back comes up a bit. Super nice, you see, look at the vibration, eh, in the wing. She just motors, so this is a first national and a second national. Yeah, yeah, and the full brothers are the national winner. Look at, look at this hen, where do you go to bid? Feathers Elite, Pigeon Auctions. Dot com punch that in you're going to see the auction opening up formula one racing this pigeon has it boy this pigeon has it i'll pass this back over who, do we, who, who else did you want to show this is the father in it well we'll see that we might as well take a sneak peek <laughs> let's see did i get any questions let me go back and look questions questions ryan you're in heaven you're so lucky Ryan, you're the luckiest man on planet Earth. Ryan, can I come with you? What's on the floor, Tracy? You're going to have to tune in to the to the, uh, the show for that. All right, let's see. Who is this one? This is the father? 
This is the father of that hen, yeah, the Queen of Conscious. He's called the Amal Cock. We actually sold him as a squeaker. Um, and he was raced by, by uh, Mickey Connolly and son up in London. He won first the Malg against four and a half thousand pigeons. And then in his next race, he was full for Malg again against four thousand odd pigeons. When he was full for Malg, it was completely against the wind. Uh, when I say amalgam, I mean amalgamation. So that's amalgamations of different feeds all let go together right. uh, to get the bigger birdage. Um, when, so when he was fourth, it was completely against the wind. He was 10 minutes in front of any other pigeon into his area, into his federation. Um, and he was the only pigeon in that area to make the top 100 of the amalgamation result. And he was fourth open. In a lot of ways, he was better than, uh, you know, that was a better performance than the day he actually won the amalgamation. He then came back to Formula One, because I say we bred him, but he wasn't raced by us. And since then, he's gone on in his very uh, first nest when he was paired to Guernsey Princess, who's a daughter of the Dream Pair. Uh, she was, she's also run first national and third national. They bred Teresa's boy that won the national. And then in 2020, they bred the Queen of Conteers as one first and second national. So full of results. And, and, and I, I get it. You don't mind if I handle your birdie game, do you, my friend? <laughs> You're doing real good with that camera, John. It's better right than talking. Well, you? you know what? Well, you get him talking. He doesn't stop. Okay, again, exactly like, like the daughter. You feel it in, in, on the bone here, on the keel bone. A little bit deeper pigeon feel the fight in them. Yeah. But you feel that vibration, the motor. Buoyancy, feather quality, second to none. It's just like his daughter, eh? Yeah. Just the same way. They don't like to be handled. They're not the. They're not calm in your hands. They got a nice vibration, but I can't believe the buoyancy. There's, it's like if you want to know what this is like, blow up a balloon and put it in your hands. There's not. It's just light as a feather. Super, super rich eye. The best of the best. And you know, it's so nice. You're winning with the pigeons. Yeah. John, your partner's winning. This pigeon won for somebody else. Yeah. You're bringing it back now, breeding out of it, and what are we getting again? More winners. More winners. Guys, do you want to put winners in your loft? And, and I'm going to, John, I'm going to ask John you this question, okay? Yeah. What do you think of these pigeons overall? The best you've ever raced. Best you've ever raced. How many years you've been racing? 20 plus. 20 plus. So you've seen a lot of pigeons. Yeah. And nothing's compared to these. No, nothing. Can the people bid in confidence? Definitely. Definitely. And you know what? It's the truth. Yeah. Well, you want to, he wants to show something else. <laughs> Look at this. He's like a kid in a candy store. Maltese Falcon. Maltese Falcon. What do we got here? I want to handle this one. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lucky yeah, now. Yeah, so this is the Maltese Falcon. Maltese Falcon. What an interesting name. Well, who comes up with these names? John, did you name them? No, I did this one. You did this. I can tell. Somebody who talks a lot names them like this. Maltese Falcon. This, the reason for the name on this, and I should say this, is actually is after a very good friend of ours that raced the Francois. Um, he was from Malta, and uh, unfortunately... He went back to Malta uh, just for the first lockdown with COVID, and he had a fatal accident in a, in a, oh. on his bike and passed away. Um, so we decided that the next national winner would be called in, in after him, and Maltese Falcon was his nickname. Class, class here at Formula Racing. Um, so and um, so this cock so he won the first national, first national flying club, three thousand odd pigeons, uh, beat on the trap, the Queen of Concierge that we just had by one second. And you're very fortunate, you guys, that uh, we're actually putting one up same way bred as this into the auction. Um, he's from D32. D32 is one of the top breeding sons of D'Artagnan, the old cock that we looked at just now. Uh, and the mother of this pigeon, she's become a super breeder. She's bred two first combines. I think it's eight times first federations, and of course, the first national flying club. Well, I'm, I want to ask if, if John doesn't mind holding the camera again, yeah. which that's not a problem. I, I have to get some. So I've now handled, just in this little spot, I've handled a double, basically a double national winner, and now another national winner. Oh, yeah. Look at this. He's super. 
What a pigeon. You're lucky to have such nice pigeons, my friend. And you know what? It's great that they're breeding for other people. Yeah. Like, like I mean, that's what really makes it quite nice. You know, it's not... Oh, the, f the fight. You almost feel like he's going to rip his wings off. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous pigeon. Man, this is something special. Thank you for letting me handle this. Another national winner into my hands, guys. I'm about the luckiest man on planet Earth. I handle the winners. Essex UK, Formula One Racing, Golden Doif winner. How many, hey, this is a question. National wins. Uh-huh. How many national wins do you have? Uh, I've got three and three combine wins, and John's got five national wins. So you've got five national wins. Yeah. And all, all the national wins, the same pigeons? Uh, four out of five. Four out of five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so pretty good pigeons. Yeah, all, all mine are. All, all my national wins and combine wins are all from the Francois pigeons. All right, who's this one? So this is another 10 from 2020. Um, you might have to help me out on their actual results here, John, but uh, she was 13th national, I think. When he took the first uh, eight positions, breaking the record, she was not in the first eight, but she was the next pigeon after that for John to win 13th national. Uh, she then won 40-something national, I believe. Uh, and then that was as a young bird. And then she raced again this year from Guernsey, uh, which is as close as we can get to France, a little island out in the sea, um, which is a 200-mile race, basically, for us. And she won the national this in 2021 as a yearling so she had 13th national and having 40 something national and then first national as a as a yearling let, yeah. let me hold on yeah and as john said he that's not enough she's got a race again in 2022 so everything that this pigeon's done north americans are you listening oh yeah she's got it again everything this pigeon's done most people would stock it most yeah but this one's still got more work to do yeah look at the intelligence in her She's off a young breeding pair, um, in that her mother is a pigeon that's called Burnham Queen. Again, she was another pigeon that was uh, actually raced by Lee Bastone, but from our dream pair line, so the Prince of Reckham and Dreamy. She won the national herself, the Burnham Queen, and then we brought her back from Lee, added her to the stock loft. Uh, she's a 2018 pigeon. So first year of breeding was 2019. She's a 2020 pigeon, so she's already bred a national winner. She's a national winner herself. So she's bred a national winner. So she, her mother's bred a national her winner. Her mother's bred a national winner. She was a national winner herself, her mother. Right. And then bred a national winner. And she also bred this year, in, or last year in 2021, her mother, so a half-brother to her, won the section in the National Flying Club. So the wind was completely against us, nowhere near we could win. Uh, in fact, we were probably in the worst position, or John was in the worst position in the whole race, but he's won the section uh, in, in the national and was 200 and full open or something like that, which doesn't sound great, but when the wind's completely against you and there was all the winners were completely the opposite end of the country, it was a really great performance. Hey guys, you can see here Formula One getting the results where it matters. Forget the clubs. National. National wins. And, yep. and consistent pigeons. These pigeons keep breeding. They've been breeding winners after winner. Not only for you, not only for John, but people that get them are very, very happy with these pigeons. What makes these pigeons so magical? Uh, it's always a good question, but I think um, there have been a family that's uh, now 50 years in the making. Frank started this family in 1972. He brought, he brought in over the first three or four years four main lines of pigeons and they, these pigeons today can still be traced back to them. Uh, so it's generation after generation of winners and winners and strict selection, strict breeding, adding only the very best back to stock has improved the, um, generation after generation. And I think what you've ended up with is a real all-round family that win from 50 to 500 plus miles uh, and super intelligence. Um, where Franz raced, he was out on the limb a little bit, he wasn't in the main drag, so for him to win, then pigeons had to break away early. 
exactly the same for us, for us to win nationals. Them pigeons have got to basically win when they leave the transporter. They've got to come out of that transporter, know where home is, and not deviate. Uh, and I think that's what makes the pigeons winners in, you know, it doesn't matter the competition. Even one loft races, you know, we're now seeing that these bloodlines are winning. Um, you know, they, they're coming out in any competition. Well, uh, you know, uh, the results are in the pudding. Guys, I'm here, Formula One racing. These birds have it going on. You want to see the in-depth, in-deep, the great loft tour that we have provided. It's coming up. It'll be on our YouTube channel. Remember, go to that YouTube channel. Check it out. What is it? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Hit that subscribe link. That's what I want you to do. Hit it. Follow us along. Formula One Racing is coming to Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions very, very soon. You're going to have 10 shots at this super family of pigeons. Do they breed winners? Yes. Do they keep breeding winners? Yes. This whole loft, almost 200 feet of pigeon loft, all has one family. What's the name of that family, John? Friends Wells. Friends Wells from, from, from the Netherlands. Yeah. You, you bet on them big and it's paid off. Paid off, John? <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I'm going to let you go. I want to thank you guys uh, for having us in. Much appreciated to have you. It's been hey, good. Facebookers, I told you. Daddy always makes it to the good places. Just follow me. Thanks for flying with us, guys. You have a great day. Bye for now.